The trial of Derek Chauvin now in the hands of the jury in Minneapolis. Attorneys on both sides making their final case to jurors who must now decide if the former police officer is guilty of murder. Our News reporter Veronica Miracle is live now with more, including a last-ditch effort to declare a mistrial. Veronica. Well, David, those jurors have gone home for the evening, but they will be back deliberating again behind closed doors first thing tomorrow morning. Meanwhile, as you said, California Representative Maxine Waters also making headlines regarding the case. Twelve jurors now deliberating the fate of former Minneapolis police officer Derek Chauvin. They will decide if Chauvin is guilty of second-degree unintentional murder, third-degree murder, and second-degree manslaughter over the death of George Floyd. In their closing arguments, the prosecution telling the jury to remember the unforgettable video that sparked worldwide protests. Use your common sense. Believe your eyes. What you saw, you saw. For nine minutes and 29 seconds. He begged, George Floyd begged until he could speak no more. In their final statements, the defense arguing George Floyd's underlying health problems and drug use killed him, not Chauvin. Medical experts rejected that theory during the trial. Did Mr. Floyd die exclusively of asphyxia or were there other contributing factors? As the jury now deliberates their decisions on the three charges, an anxious country awaits a verdict. Civil unrest now potentially affecting the case. Representative Maxine Waters making these comments about the trial. I hope uh, that we're going to get a verdict that is say guilty, guilty, guilty. And if we don't, we, got, we cannot go away. We've got to get more confrontational. We've got to make sure that they, they know that we mean business. The judge denied a request for a mistrial over her comments, but says the defense may have grounds for appealing a guilty verdict later on. I wish elected officials would stop talking about this case. Their failure to do so, I think, is abhorrent, but I don't think it has prejudiced us with additional uh, material that would prejudice this jury. They have been told not to watch the news. I trust they are following those instructions. David, it could take hours, days, even weeks for the jury to come back with a verdict. Chauvin faces potentially decades in prison if convicted on all three charges. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel. And download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.